Hello everyone, welcome back to Archaeology Tube. Just wanted to do a quick check-in on an exciting new find that I just saw in the journal Science, just released in the last couple of days. A really cool new site being discussed in Nyanga, Kenya. Now, this site dates to about three to two and a half million years old. And the site is the location of some stone tools of the Oldowan tradition. It's also the location of some fossils uh, from the genus Paranthropus, which is an early hominin ancestor, a little bit different from those that we directly evolved from. Now, why is this site interesting and important and worth noting? Well, for one thing, it's really early. Old Wan stone tools are the earliest known stone tool technology, and they're usually associated with Homo habilis, Homo erectus, and other members of our own genus, the genus that Homo sapiens is a part of. In this case, we're looking at some examples that are about a half a million years older for most of the other examples that we know about. They're also in a different area of Africa. Most Old Wan stone tool technology is found in parts of Ethiopia, where, as I mentioned earlier, this is coming from Kenya. Kenya. So suggesting Old Wan stone tools have a wider geographic range than we might have otherwise expected. Now Old Wan tools are really cool. As I said earlier, they're the oldest and in some ways the simplest of the actual worked stone tools. They're really uh, about as simple as taking the right kind of stone and hitting it correctly so that it breaks off some nice sharp flakes that you can use for things like butchering animal bones or processing of plants. That doesn't sound like very much, but we're talking about two and a half, three million years ago with early hominins that are quite different in some ways from ourselves. This is actually represents a pretty impressive leap in cognitive ability, brain function for our ancient ancestors. Now this study also suggests that finds from the site imply that Old Wan stone tool technology might have been used on a wider range of foods than we previously thought. Most Old Wan technology is assumed to be associated with the butchering of animal bones, especially scavenged animal bones. But the evidence from this site suggests that these are mostly being used to process plant materials. But I think probably the most interesting find here is that these seem to be associated with some fossils, particularly a couple of teeth, from the genus Paranthropus. Our direct ancestors come from the genus Homo, and before that, the genus Australopithecus. Paranthropus genus is one that sort of breaks off from the Australopithecus line sometime before the emergence of Homo habilis and Homo erectus. And these are a more robust species than us. They have a really intense bone structure in their skull and are kind of most well known for these huge sagittal crests, this crest of bone on the top of their skull that would have attached massive, really powerful jaw muscles so that these animals could have chewed on really tough plant material. This site is suggesting that Paranthropus were perhaps engaged in some much more cognitively impressive feats in ancient antiquity than we previously thought. If they are in fact processing stone tools, making old wand stone tool technology, and eating a really wide range of foods. All right, everybody. Well, thanks so much for sort of checking in with this update. As you see, this is something really short, uh, just to kind of tell you about the newest archaeology news. And I'll like to, I'll do videos like this quite often, uh, but also keep an eye on this channel. Maybe hit that subscribe button to see some longer form stuff about other archaeology. Uh, and other aspects of archaeology that I'll put up all the time. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.